All right, hey Pisces. So I'm doing a separation read for you guys. And you're going to know this is your read by how you feel about this person on your mind and your heart and your desired outcome. So if you don't resonate with that, please check your moon rising or Venus placements. And if you're new, welcome. You guys, I'm still offering up to three free readings a week based on those who interact uh, with my video via the comments. So if I see a comment that really um, strikes me, you guys, I'll offer you a read, okay? Um, how you feel about this person, the lovers, like how, how much more tight-knit could that get? You got the four of wands, so a desire for unity, um, a desire to come together, all right? The separation read, obviously, um, you're in a heartbreak um, situation, heartache, the feeling of heartache, the feeling of loss. Um I just feel like you're dealing with somebody who's very, very special to you. You got two soul dynamics coming through. Um, and it hurts even more when it's it feels like that person just belongs in your life, right? So it's like, I, I don't want anybody else. I want you. I want unity. I want happiness. Like, let's bring that back together. We've experienced it once. Can we, can we have it again? Um, I just feel like you're kind of just in this mode of... Gosh, it's like uh, the best thing that has, has ever stepped into my life, you know, is it just not there. It's not there. All right. But these reads have all had some really positive shifts. So I can't, I can't wait to get to the end of it to see what's in store. But let's see what your desired outcome is. Your desired outcome for this connection. You want to work on it, man. You, you want unity. You want unity. You want to bring balance right? You want to restore the connection to, to where it was. All right. Coming out of the break, I kind of feel like you guys are just overly kind of thinking about this connection, but I feel like, you know what, you're also in this mindset of if this person wants me, if they really want it, they'll come back to it. You know, um, if you love it, let it go, set it free. If it comes back, it was meant to be right. That's just kind of what I feel like is with your energy. And that's a really proper mindset to be in. Um, if you guys, um, really value the person, you know, I just feel like it, that's just where you're at, but I feel like you do think about them a lot, um, a little obsessively, right? I feel like you want to heal, you want to work on the connection, you want to mend and you want to grow, you know, but not if it's not going to bring love, harmony, bliss, nurture, Temperance card is showing up because you just want the energies to be balanced between you and this person. I do feel like you want to work on it with them. I don't, I feel like the four of swords is showing up because it's, it's, it's the opposite of wanting to stay on this pause mode, you know, but you guys could be in this situation where it's like, maybe you've done tried, tried, tried. And if the person just wasn't picking up what you were putting down or they weren't getting it, you know, then it's up to them to come back to you, you know? I feel like you have a lot of a love in your heart for this person still, no matter how long it's been since you guys have been disconnected. You just want to grow on it. You want to grow, you want to grow it. You want to work on it. Um, but I kind of feel like you guys are in this energy where now they need to make the move towards you, right? So who is this person that is on your mind space? Who is this person? What is their energy? You guys could be dealing with a Taurus. All right. You got Capricorn coming through with the three of pentacles. This person could be a little bit obsessed um, or obsessive, a perfectionist, somebody who's very in the mode of uh, stuck energy, somebody who's very bored. Um, the reason why I'm saying that is because he he shows up in the night of uh, he shows up in the reverse. Sorry, um, we have the Ten of Cups. All right, so this person, um, the Ten of Cups showing up in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles showing up in reverse is basically saying this person does feel a little bit stuck, a little bit hesitant to move forward. All right. Um, I feel like they're kind of on the opposite end. I feel like their life isn't completely happy and, and blissful without you. Um, just because that card also shows up in the reverse. Um, but I really feel like ultimately what this person wants is the big picture. All right. The emotional fulfillment that you bring to them, Pisces. Um, how could you not with your water energy? So let's see how they feel about you. You that you're you are literally like all they think about. 
I feel like since you guys have been disconnected, um, yes, they have felt the ramifications of that. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles is showing up because you are their jackpot, okay? They can see life with you in a big way, but it's not coming through right now, you know? The Ace of Swords coming through um, because they want to talk. They want to communicate. They want to see what's going on with Pisces. I really feel like they think about you all the time. Like the fact that your own card shows up in their energy says that this person does think about you a lot. Um, with the energy uh, that, that's coming through here, sorry, I should have said something before, um, but you got uh, Taurus and Aries with the Knight of Pentacles. You got Pisces coming through. You got Pisces Aquarius. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, in Capricorn. I don't know if I finished those. Sorry, guys. Um, anyways, I just really feel like you're, they can see the big picture with you. All right? They can see the end game. Aces are, are about new beginnings and tens are about the, hey, we're going to get to the final phase. So if anything, I really feel like this person just really wants to communicate. Um, I really feel like they can see that victory. They can see the big outcome with you. And it's probably through this pause or this break that they've started to recognize how important you are in their life. So what do they want the outcome to be? What do they want this outcome to be? They want they want to bring balance back to the connection. So maybe there was some unfairness, a little bit more taking than giving, right? The two of uh, wands, whenever I see this card show up, this is about building together, growing together, retirement together. You know, this is being able to sit on the porch swing and say, hey, man, we made it through all the trials and tribulations. You got the queen of pentacles and this king showing up right here. And that to me just says we're supposed to be. We, we're, we're meant to be. Okay, we are meant to be. We have the nine of cups showing up right here. Which is basically, I mean, every wish fulfillment card that could show up right now is is here. All right. I just really feel like they their desired outcome is to make things happen. Let's grow. Let's rebuild. Let's balance the energies um, that sit between us. Okay. So I'm going to pull to see what the next 30 days is going to bring you guys. The next 30 days for Pisces and the one on their mind. The next 30 days, you guys have the, you have, um, nines, nine, 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 nine. Look at that. The nine of swords and the nine of wands showing up. And I can't help but feel you guys that that is referencing that the cycle that you guys are sitting in right now is about to close itself out. Okay. So you got to be open. You have to be open to receiving. You have to be in alignment with this, uh, the, the desire to call it back in. You need to be in alignment with that. So happiness harmony within self okay nines are again they're about cycles that are about to shut itself out so where you guys have seen separation where you guys maybe have had no contact at all you have the ace of wands showing up here as a fresh new beginnings the eight of cups is also showing up in reverse which to me indicates that is a return all right so somebody's showing back up to give you that ace of wands to give you that new passionate beginning you know even if it's communication that sets you guys uh free from the, the broken heart, um, you're going to be receiving that. So some of you guys could actually physically meet and reconnect that way. You got the judgment card showing up. So this right here is the angels of the past showing a return. So what is your advice? Your advice. Yeah, you have messengers coming through. I love seeing the pages show up. All right. You have the ace of swords showing up again. New beginnings. So it's it's a confirmation to a really great degree, you got the Page of Cups and the King of Cups coming out of the tower. Okay. You got sh energy shifting right here. I feel like the Page of Cups is the messenger coming to you, Pisces, and that King of Cups sitting in your energy, waiting um, patiently or not waiting at all, um, ex anticipating that the person is showing up is what you're being told. You got the Four of Swords. In reverse, that means coming out of a break. You have the Nine of Cups which is another wish fulfillment. We have nines, 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 nines all over the place, you guys. Cycles are ending. Where you guys have been disconnecting, where you have been disconnected or felt disconnected, where you maybe have lost all hope, um, it's time to kind of, it's time to re rebuild that influence of energy and just know that you're going to have the outcome that you want with this connection, okay? So we're going to pull some messages from this person's mind, what they want to tell you from the mind. What this person wants to tell you from the mind space. 
All right, messages from their mind. I admire your ability to stay positive in challenging situations. We got your creativity is inspiring. You were there when I really needed you. I am forever grateful. And you are a gift to those around you. All right, we're going to pull some messages from the heart space of this person. Messages from the heart space to Pisces. Okay. This one I'm going to set right there because I want to clarify it. It's time for me to heal now. I'm going to clarify all these. I hope that you can forgive me one day. And we need to let each other go. And I just want to kind of clarify these with one card for each one. It could be if you guys are sitting in toxic energy when it comes to each other. That's what needs to be released in order to call it back in. You got the star card coming through. All right. The star card is a wish fulfillment. Okay. And I really feel like it's the energies of the past that you guys need to let go of in order to kind of transition and turn this around. We got the Queen of Pentacles showing up. I hope that you can forgive me one of these days. I hope that you can forgive me one day. And the Queen of Pentacles, I do feel like that the fact that that uh, court card shows up, it, it is a forgiveness. It's somebody who's sitting in a better element, better energy. And we have the Empress card coming through um, with it's time to heal. So I feel like somebody needs to step into their divine. They need to learn how to balance their energies. I feel like that's what's going on here, you guys. Um, letting each other go. So when you let go of the expected or anticipated outcome, when you let go of trying to charge after that energy, you guys start to see um, positive benefits from the universe. So if you guys are holding on to an outcome in such a way, um, let everything go. Let You guys may have some healing to do. I do see a new beginning coming through, but we can't carry the energies of the past into the future, all right? So kind of think about it in a broader uh, sp uh, spectrum, okay? And these are messages from the soul. I feel you forever in my heart. You are in my thoughts and in the air I breathe. You are a jewel, a sparkling diamond, and your heart is like a great ocean of love. Thank you. Love is the expression of God, goddess flowing through you. Love is a sacred union, a great creative power, which through the merging of two souls becomes the exploration of the divine. And love overcomes all obstacles. A change in attitude is all it takes to turn things around. Trust in love's power. It will transform you and the one you love. And all will soon clear. When we let go, I just kind of feel like there's a, there's some, um, there's a deep desire to kind of hold on to this connection. But what we need to step into, especially on the soul level path, is to let it go. And, and just kind of watch how things manifest towards you. Um, I'm learning that myself. So let's see what initials show up here, you guys. Pisces, if your initials don't show or the person on your mind, that's fine as long as the cards resonate with you. We have HY, CN, and HE. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. Take care.